Hello everyone. Let's today discuss pair of lines and transversal line. Transversal lines. Now let's try and understand the basics first. A line which intersects two or more given lines at different points is called a transversal to the given lines. For example, here if we see line M this line M is intersecting line P and line Q at points A and B respectively therefore we say line M is transversal to both line P as well as line Q let's take a look at another example now here if we see we have three lines here P, Q and R. This line M intersects line P at A, line Q at B and line R at C. Therefore this line M is called a transversal to all the three lines P, Q and R respectively. Now let's take a look at angles made by transversal lines. First of all, we have interior and exterior angles. Now what are interior angles? Interior angles are those angles which are made between the two lines. Here if you take a look, between lines P and Q, there are angles 3, 4, 5 and 6. Therefore, these four angles are known as interior angles. 1, 2, 7 and 8. These lie beyond the line. Therefore, these are known as what? Exterior angles. Now, let's take a look. When a transversal intersects pair of parallel lines, what kind of angles do we get? First of all, most important angle corresponding angles. What are these angles? The angles made by transversal on the lines exactly at the same corner. What do we mean by that? If we take a look, line M is my transversal to line P and line Q. P and Q are parallel lines. Now, if you look at angle 1, angle 1 is at the right topmost corner for line P. Same way angle 5 is at the right topmost corner for line Q. Therefore I can conclude that angle 1 as well as angle 5 are corresponding angles. Now let's see properly. Here if we take a look. Like I said angle 1 and angle 5 are at the right topmost corner for lines P and Q therefore these are corresponding angles same way if I take a look angle 2 and angle 6 are at the left hand topmost corners for the respective lines 3 and 7 3 and 7 left bottommost corner 4 and 8 4 and 8 right bottommost corner for the respective lines all these pairs are what corresponding angles and remember everyone, corresponding angles are always equal. That means 1 is equal to 5, 2 is equal to 6, 3 is equal to 7 and 4 is equal to 8. Next we move on to vertically opposite angles. Uh, let's have a look. The angles, two angles formed by two intersecting lines having no common arm but a common vertex are called vertically opposite angles. What do I mean by that? If I take a look here, two lines are intersecting. This is their common vertex, but they don't have a common arm. Angle 1 will be equal to angle 2. Angle 3 will be equal to angle 4. Now vertically opposite angles are 1 is 2, 
थ्री एंड फोर ऑल दीज आर पेयर्स ऑफ वर्टिकली ऑपोजिट एंगल्स लेट्स हैव अ लुक वी टेक एन एग्जाम्पल नाउ वी वर डिस्कसिंग पैरल लाइन्स पी एंड क्यू आर पैरल लाइन्स एम इज अ ट्रांसवर्सल इफ नाउ आई टेक अ लुक एंगल वन एंड एंगल थ्री वन एंड थ्री दीज फॉर्म वर्ट फॉर देम these two lines line m and line p are what vertically opposite lines so 1 and 3 form vertically opposite angles same way 2 and 4 form vertically opposite angles 5 7 6 a all these are what pairs of vertically opposite angles remember everyone vertically opposite angles are always equal next we have alternate interior angles now first of all word comes alternate and secondly comes interior so if we have a look at interior angles first we have 3 4 5 6 these are all interior angles now the word comes alternate also so alternate means on the either side if this is my border line 3 and 5 are alternate to each other same way 4 and 6 are alternate to each other as well as interior therefore 6 and 4 form one pair of alternate interior angles 3 and 5 form another pair of alternate interior angles definition comes the angles which are interior angles and on the opposite sides of transversal just as we discussed and do not form a linear pair this is very important why because 3 and 4 are also interior as well as alternate but these form what a linear pair therefore these are not alternate interior angles these alternate interior angles are always equal next we move forward to alternate exterior angles now just like that interior opposite angles we have exterior alternate angles let's have a look 1 2 7 and 8 these form what exterior angles now let's take a look at alternate this is my border line 2 and 8 are alternate 1 and 7 are alternate that's why 1 is equal to 7 and 2 is equal to 8 definition comes like this the angles which are exterior angles on the opposite sides of transversal and again they do not form a linear pair remember everyone they do not form a linear pair alternate exterior angles are always equal to one another next we move on to co interior angles the angles which are interior angles and are on the same side of a transversal and do not form a linear pair Co means basically what on the same side interior the inside angles. Now if we have a look, three and six are interior angles and are on the same side, the left hand side of the transversal. Same way, four and five are interior angles and on the same side of the transversal. Therefore, we say three and six form one pair of interior angles, co-interior angles. Four and five form. another pair of co interior angles remember guys these are the pair of angles which have another property and what is that their sum is always 180 degree now these are not equal but angle 3 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degrees angle 4 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degrees I hope you liked the lesson. See you soon with a new lesson on ratio and proportion. Thank you.